Welcome! In this video we present the Sunny Home Manager 2.0 system at Sunny Portal powered by NXOS. We show you the most important menu items and displays in the administrator user role. Use your SMR ID to log in. If you don't have an account yet, you must sign up. After successful login, an overview page is displayed for an existing system. Navigation at Sunny Portal powered by NXOS takes place via the top blue bar, the so-called Focus Navigation, and via the left-hand navigation menu. Clicking on the system name always takes you to the start page of the system. You can access a specific device in the system directly via Select Device. If you click on the device, the dashboard of the respective device is displayed. New messages are displayed via the bell icon. The dashboard, monitoring, analysis and configuration items can be selected on the left-hand navigation bar. Under Dashboard, information and instantaneous values of the currently selected device or system are displayed. All important information about the system is visible in individual widgets in the system dashboard. The available widgets can be shown or hidden using the three small dots at the top right of the dashboard. Widgets with an arrow pointing to the right in the heading can be selected directly by clicking on the heading. You are forwarded to a detailed view with further information. Now let's take a closer look at the widgets. The information widget displays the general system information. The status widget shows the status of the devices at the quick glance. A maximum of 5 devices are displayed in the dashboard. Devices with errors and communication faults are displayed here first. Click on Status to access the complete status list of the system in which all devices are displayed. The green circle symbol with a tick indicates that everything is ok, otherwise a red circle symbol would indicate an error. Communication faults are shown with a grey circle symbol with three dots. By clicking on a device you can access its dashboard with further information. Click on the icon in the top bar to open the dashboard of the other devices. The back button in the web browser takes you to the previous page. Clicking on the system name in the top blue bar always takes you to the general plant dashboard. The energy flow widget displays the live data of the PV system such as PV generation, self-consumption and grid feed-in or grid supplied power. If battery storage systems are included, charging or discharging is also displayed. In addition, the self-sufficiency quota, the self-consumption quota, the battery state of charge and the current surplus PV energy or deficit are displayed. Clicking on the heading takes you to the energy balance page. In the daily view, the values are displayed in a 5-minute resolution, a clear advantage compared to Sunny Portal Classic, where there is only a 15-minute data resolution. If you move the cursor over the graphic, the values for the respective time are displayed. The drop-down menu allows you to select whether energy loads, energy flow or energy sources are to be displayed. The available views are day, week, month, year and total. Further details can be opened below the graphic and the data can be downloaded using the download button. Click on the system name to return to the start page. The energy and power PV widget provides an overview of the PV energy produced. Clicking on the headline will also take you to the detailed data. The current power shows live data from the system, as in the energy balance different time periods such as day, week, month, year or total can be viewed. If you move the cursor over the graphic, data is displayed. In the Day tab, data is displayed in a 5-minute resolution. The data is displayed in tabular form via details and can also be downloaded via the download button. Clicking on the system name takes you back to the overview dashboard. If a battery storage system is present in the system, data on battery charging and discharging can be displayed via the battery or battery history widgets. The widgets each lead to the energy and power battery page, which displays detailed data. For systems with an existing battery, the page shows the battery stage of charge and the charges and discharges. The data for the day, week, month, year and total can also be displayed here. The data can be displayed and downloaded in tabular form under details. Other widgets show the weather, CO2 avoidance and reimbursement. If an SMA charging station, such as the SMAE charger or SMA EV charger is integrated, the charging station widget is available. 
click on Monitoring to access further pages. The already known status list shows all devices in the system with their current status. In the Event Monitor in NXOS is the System Logbook formula from Sunny Portal Classic. All events and messages from the system are displayed in the Event Monitor. On the left hand side you can use the filters to customize what should be displayed. We are already familiar with the energy balance page. It shows values of grid supplied power, grid feed in, total generation and battery charging discharging. Sunny Portal calculates the consumption from this. The consumer balance page is structured similarly to the energy balance page. It shows the consumption data of the loads and the data on PV generation, grid supplied power and the battery, if available. In the legend, you can select or deselect the points to determine what should be visible in the graphic. A forecast for PV generation and consumption for the next 48 hours is also displayed. The forecast display can also be deactivated. If you scroll down, the consuming devices of the system are listed. The energy sources from which the loads were supplied are displayed. A timeline shows the configured time windows, the runtimes of the loads switched by Sunny Home Manager and the scheduling by the Sunny Home Manager. Via the context menu of the consumers, device properties and device control can be edited and, for example, time windows can be configured. We are already familiar with the energy and power battery and energy and power PV pages from the system dashboard. They can also be called up via the monitoring menu item. The Analysis Pro, the PV Inverter Comparison and the Annual Comparison can be displayed via Analysis. Analysis Pro enables detailed views and analysis of the system or individual devices. If available, individual channels of the devices can be selected for viewing under Detailed Analysis. To do this, first select the device on the left hand side, for example the inverter. The available data channels are then displayed in the main window. Unavailable channels are grayed out. Click on the channels to select what is to be displayed. The Energy and Power PV tab also provides a somewhat simplified display. The PV inverter comparison shows an overview of all PV inverters in terms of their specific yields. The function is only active if there are at least two PV inverters in the system. In the annual comparison, a month can be displayed and compared with previous years. The next menu item configuration is extensive and contains all the points and functions for configuring the system and the devices in Sunny Portal powered by NXOS. We therefore cover this point in part 2 of our video of a Sunny Home Manager 2.0 system and Sunny Portal powered by NXOS. We hope that this video could help you with your questions. If you need any further assistance, check out other tech tips on our channel or comment your questions below this video. Would you like to see the latest tech tips on SMA products? Then subscribe to our channel.